from the TV9 studios at Ashkosh North. It's the Spartan Show. February, Friday the 13th. Coming today, some Freaky Friday things. I noticed they were um, selling tickets next week for the winter formal. They are all week. They're selling at lunch. So if I have this boyfriend, um, Bill, and he's 24, can I bring him to the dance? Absolutely not. Why are you dating someone who's 24? Does your mom know? Um, I'll write that anyways. Down. Yeah, what else? Um, what if, so I have this other boyfriend, and his name is, uh, Chet, yeah, Chet, can't keep him straight. I, I can understand that. Um, and on the ski trip, he mooned someone. <laughs> can I bring him? No, Chet can't come either. If you get in trouble on any kind of a school activity, we won't let you to the dance either, sorry. Jeez. Okay. Who else? So then I've got um, Brad. Brad. Um, Brad got kicked out of homecoming. <laughs> Can I bring him? No, I'm sorry, Brad can't come either. We need to make sure that we are in good standing. So if you have been sent out of a dance at our school, or if Brad happens to go to West, and he got kicked out of a dance there, Brad can't come to our dance either. Any other boyfriends? Um, a few. <laughs> All right. So basically, mm -hmm. I just need a boyfriend who's like 18 and a half, treats me good, mm -hmm. didn't get kicked out of any other dances, and is in good standing. Good standing, you bring up a good point. Would you like me to tell you what kind of a boyfriend you can bring to the dance? Yeah. Or a girlfriend, if you want to bring a girlfriend to your dance. No. Not you, mm -hmm. but someone. So what you need to do is this student needs to be 19 years of age. They can be out of high school for one year, but no longer than that. If they are a current student at, let's say, West or Lourdes, you need to get this piece of paper from the office that says winter formal. You need to give it to the date or your prospective date. They will take it to Lourdes or West where they will get this filled out. They will fax this form back to North where Mrs. Gansner will then fill it out. She will cut off this bottom half and give you the bottom half so you may then purchase a ticket for your date. So this needs to be done ASAP, guys, because your, the student at North must have this before they can buy a ticket for their date who does not go here. Student IDs are required, so you will not be allowed to buy a ticket for you or your date without IDs. So they're going to have to show their IDs when they come to the dance as well. You act, asked about good standing, right? Do you know what good standing is? Mm -mm. Good standing means that you have not been suspended in the last 60 days, that you do not have any detentions to serve. And most importantly, the one thing people forget that you have paid all your fines and fees. I know we've had a long line at the bank of kids doing that because they want to be able to go to the dance. So make sure that you pay your fines and fees. If you have any detentions, make sure that you are serving those because if you have any outstanding detentions, you will not be allowed admittance into the dance either. Wait, so I have to pay for my boyfriend's ticket? I don't think you do. Well, That's up to if you. he goes to a different school, then I have to purchase it. I'm old fashioned, I think the guy should pay. But if he doesn't go here? That's up to you, I guess. I think you just need to worry about finding a decent date. Yeah, wish he existed. Thanks for your help, Michaela. Make sure you buy your tickets, they're on sale now. On behalf of the Oshkosh North Forensics team, we would like to present you with this second place trophy from our Winnie County meet. Look at how big this trophy is. <laughs> it's heavy. No. Um, Oshkosh North, we were just talking, and I don't know um, if you all realize that we have a forensics club here, um, but this wonderful team is, I believe, the biggest team we've ever had. Ms. Hensel and Ms. Shimshak, you guys, hey, everyone duck down. Let's show the teachers back there. Yay! <laughs> um, so this is the largest forensics team we have ever had in the history of Oshkosh North High School, um, and I just want to say how proud I am. Um, they have a season ahead of them and are no, no doubt going to do great things. But if you haven't ever considered forensics, it's a great um, club organization group and it really, it's skills that you're going to use for the rest of your life. I know I was a big forensics kid in high school, so um, I'm very, very proud, very, very impressed. And this is a huge trophy. So on behalf of Oshkosh North High School, congratulations to you guys and let's keep bringing home the hardware. Have a great day, North.
Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Oshkosh North. My name is Mr. Lieb. I'm one of the co-advisors for Student Council, and this is... McKenna. And Devin. We're here today to talk to you about Sasquatch Week, which is next week, because it's Friday. You ready for this Friday? You guys going to the game tomorrow? Yeah. Or tonight? Tonight. Tonight. tonight? Oh, my God. So, anyways, um, for the freshmen or the newbies at Oshkosh North, Sasquatch Week is kind of like our Beat the Winter Blues Week, our Spirit Week, and we kind of tied in with the winter formal that goes on. And today we're here to talk to you about the first dress-up day. And ladies, you want to tell them a little about it? All right, Monday's comfy day. You can dress in pajamas or or sweatshirt and sweatpants. Comfy day. So we want to see you decked out from head to toe. Staff members, remember to check in at the main office for the 20 most spirited staff members throughout the whole week. Have a good day, Oshkosh North. Done. Oh, Mickey, I'm so bummed we have to babysit on Friday the 13th, you know? I know. Did you put the kids to bed? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? Hold on. Hello? Have you checked the children? Um, yeah, they're upstairs sleeping. That was weird. Hmm. Okay. Right. Anyways, sorry, you're We could watch a movie. <laughs> Those imaginary boys. <laughs> oh my god. Weird. Man. Hello? Have you checked the children? Yeah, they're upstairs sleeping. Weird, I don't. Why is he asking you I if they're upstairs? No. Like, what? I don't know. I don't even, I don't even know who's calling. Why don't you have his number? Why don't oh. you have his name in your phone? Probably nothing to worry about. Wait, is it your boyfriend that called? No, I didn't recognize the number at all. I don't recognize it either. What did he ask you? Um, if I have checked the children lately, but you put them to bed, so they're sleeping. Well, maybe we should call 911. That's weird. Uh, you're overreacting. No. Okay, call. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to report some weird phone calls. Yeah, I live at 3017 Shadow Lane. Okay, thank you, officer. Bye. What'd they say? They said they're gonna check. Oh. Are they gonna like track the number or something? Yeah, they said they're like tap into the phone or something. Oh, whoa. I don't know how they do that, but. Hello? Hello, this is Officer Rothy from the Oshkosh Police Department. We traced the call and. Yeah, you It's upstairs! The... Get out! The what is upstairs? Their, um, the phone call was coming from upstairs? I guess. So. Maybe we should leave. Did he tell us to get out? Um, yeah, we should. I mean, he like advised it. What do we do? They said they're up. You, you guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I had I had a cold. Where did you guys Where did you guys go? Um, I I was just calling to see if you checked on the children because they're hungry. Um, I don't know. I knew that they might want some lunch, so like the lunch specials, I was just gonna tell you what they wanted. Like, uh, I think Sophie wanted a fish patty melt on a bun, and like maybe Josh wanted a barbecue rib patty, and then I think um, uh, Matt wanted a buffalo style chicken pizza. But like, why did you guys get so freaked out? And why don't you have my number saved? I'm offended. Welcome, Oshkosh North, to this fabulous Friday the 13th. Me and Mandy here, bringing so, you the news. Speaking of Friday the 13th, did you know that public speaking is more feared than death itself? I did not. Ooh, that scared me. Well, on this Friday the 13th, the forensics team is proud to be, to be, to proud to announce that we are not scared of public speaking. 
today or ever. In fact, we love it so much that we are spending Valentine's Day speaking. Now, isn't that sweet? That is something to that's, talk about. That's sweet. Well, good luck to the team as they travel to Hortonville tomorrow. Be at West High School, door one at 7 a.m., not p.m., a.m. If you don't sign up for Kakana on the 21st, you have to lunch to do so. Way to face your fear and love public speaking, guys. Speaking of public speaking, the annual Senior vs. Staff Sasquatch Week basketball game will take place next Friday during the assembly. A staff mm -hmm. sign-up sheet will be posted in the mailroom and seniors can sign up outside of room 221 starting today through Monday. Fans, get your cheers ready for this entertaining spectacle. Also, stage society members and drama students, if you are interested in seeing the Broadway musical Jersey Boys and the Appleton PAC, Thursday night, May 7th, come see Ms. Hensland right away. The cost to you is only $30 because drama is covering the other half of your ticket and transportation. Isn't that cool? That's hype. Oh, that's awesome. That's hype. Ooh, that's a new slang. I gotta start saying that sounds cool. First payment is due now of $20 to hold your ticket and, and remaining $10 is due in March. That's all for today, Oshkosh North, but it's Friday the 13th today, so stay safe. But remember, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Aww. It's me and Mandy, signing off. Bye, guys.